Hi there guys, this is Trevor from RMK Outdoors and today I'm going to be talking about why I think so many people use this shoe right here for backpacking, hiking, and just kind of all around exploring. Stay tuned. So this is the Ultra Lone Peak. If you guys have not heard of this brand, you probably will soon if you're into backpacking, hiking, camping, kind of exploring. It is a zero drop company, uh, a shoe company that also makes a little bit wider toe boxes. A lot of people really love this shoe in the backpacking world. Here in Colorado, it's almost like a cult following. So many people, if you backpack, have this shoe on. and. That's what I'm going to talk about today is why I think this is so popular for those types of people and what I'm going to use it for and my thoughts on it. So Ultra was founded in 2009, uh, primarily focusing on that toe box shape and then that zero drop. Um, they started here in Denver, Colorado, so another awesome company I like to support that's local. And they kind of shook up the shoe world when they did that. Um, you know, a lot of shoes were going with that narrow fit and there wasn't much in terms of hiking uh, shoes at that point. Trail running shoes have kind of caught up to the tech now and there's so many trail running options, but a lot of people still move to this shoe uh, because of the origins that that company was found on which is that toe box shape, which is gonna allow your foot to kind of swell um, and, and give it room. So we'll talk about that. Uh, this shoe, before I get ahead of myself, this shoe, the Lone Peak 5, this is the Lone Peak 5, it does come in at $130, which I think is a fair price for a kind of backpacking hiking shoe. Feet are very important on the trail, and I think this does a good job uh, for what it's intended, so I'll get that out of the way. So I have had Ultra in the past. It's been kind of a love-hate relationship for a while. I, uh, I didn't really understand the zero drop you know whole the whole reasoning behind zero drop and now that i do work at a shoe store part-time so i've really learned kind of the mechanics of backpacking and walking and then running obviously and why zero drop could be for you so it's not for everybody and it does take some time to get used to it it does have its benefits on the trail especially for backpacking so a couple reasons why zero drop is so popular and can be beneficial it kind of naturally strengthens your posterior chain so your calves your ankles your hamstrings that being because you're not on a normal drop so zero drop means you don't have any kind of heel to toe forward momentum pushing you. Whereas a lot of shoes, um, typically trail shoes are between like four to eight. The Ghost, a lot of road shoes will get up to like the 10 to 12. So that's, a, that's almost a half an inch pushing you further, which does feel good off the bat. But a lot of people and Ultra, you know, they think that having that zero drop is better to strengthen, strengthen how, well, we're, we're used to walking in drops. So It'll strengthen you once you start transitioning to that shoe. That's another point is you always kind of want to uh, move into this kind of zero drop, but it, it strengthens your posterior chain and then therefore um, leads into less injuries, more, you know, using your calves, using how they say we evolve to walk. So, you know, I, I don't really know how I feel yet. I'm going to use this all summer and really give it a go because of how many people use it. And, and this is not to be mixed up with minimal this is not a minimal shoe it's still zero drop there's zero drop shoes out there all over but this still has tons of cushion it still has a rock plate in here it's got plenty of grip so it's just a zero drop it's not minimal i don't want to confuse anybody with that uh, then we've also we've hit on the foot shape here so another big big reason that ultra is so popular is because of that foot shape which i do like so it takes a getting a little getting used to i did go down to a nine and a half in this guy from a 10 i normally wear a 10 in every shoe but i felt like i was moving around a bit too much in here but that toe shape is really nice they you know it doesn't look crazy it still looks like that ultra there has been talk about them narrowing it down but to me that foot shape is is really nice it allows you to get a good sock in there a nice smart wool sock for backpacking and it allows your your toes to spread out that's one of their big things um so you have more balance on the trail along with the fact that if your foot swells after 20 30 40 miles or whatever this can accommodate that so th i think that's a plus i'm not quite sold on the zero drop yet but that foot shape is really awesome so those two reasons there what made ultra famous are really the the core of this shoe Another really huge plus on this guy, and one that I have tested firsthand, I did have the 4.5s of this, and uh, same thing here, the Max Track outsole. So they have this positioned here on the metatarsals of your foot. It's very sticky out of the box, and it's actually specifically designed with this trail claw that it goes over 
it goes beneath your metatarsals to provide extra traction where your foot's making that contact because of the zero drop platform so every outsole really on hikers or trail running shoes is pretty standard nowadays to be to be very good whether it's vibram this max track um, we've got contra grip from solomon so i've used them all pretty much and uh, as long as you're in that trail category they all work really well but ultra is no different it's a very very nice outsole um, and a huge huge important part of your trail shoe a huge feature to me that i see overlooked whether i'm working at the store or hiking seeing people and, and the reason I think this is such a popular option for backpacking specifically is going to be this ripstop nylon upper. So this ripstop is very, very durable. So it's much more durable than your typical standard running shoe mesh or even some trail shoes mesh. I know they beef it up a little bit, but a ripstop is, is insanely durable. And if you do get a hole, it will stop. So that right there to me in a backpacking shoe, I want something that I can depend on durability wise. Um, obviously comfort, traction, all of that is, is over here, but durability, if you're going to take this guy out for multiple days at a time, or even, you know, longer the PCT or whatever, uh, Colorado trail here, you want to be able to depend on this shoe. And I really do think this is a dependable shoe from ultra. Uh, you've got a toe guard up here, the outsole I've never had a problem with the ripstop nylon, nice kind of paracord style laces. It's not your typical, you know, ones that kind of flay away. It's a very high quality. The tongue is the ripstop as well. It's, it's just a durable shoe. So I think that's a very important part and a reason why it's so popular. We hit on the price at 130. So that that's pretty standard. That's a good price for a trail shoe as well. I'm trying to think if I missed anything here as to why I think this is so popular. Oh, the Gator. So this has a Gator attachment that you can buy from Ultra. They've got their uh, Ultra Gators. It attaches right here and then this little Velcro. So it's kind of like mission ready when it comes to Gator. Yeah, guys, that's those are pretty much the core features. So like I said at the beginning of the video, Zero drop is not for everybody. It takes a transition period to get used to. Um, but from what I've tested and from what I can tell, I have taken these out a couple times. I think that if you get used to that zero drop and with that added weight of a backpack when you're backpacking, or even just if you wanna be have more stability uh, during the trail, I think that zero drop will pay off. So I will do a full follow-up review on this shoe, but I wanted, I, I got a couple questions on this guy and uh, you know, two people specifically asked me why this is such a popular option. I see it all the time where people come in and they're just intrigued by this. They've seen it all over. So I wanted to get a video out there as to why I believe um, from my use and from what I've heard why this is such a popular option for people in the backpacking world, hiking 14 or stuff like that. Um, it, oh, one thing I did miss, drain drainage. Uh, this is not a waterproof shoe. They make a waterproof version. I rarely suggest a waterproof hiking shoe. Now, hiking boots, if you want to use it for winter, what have you, I think that's a good option. Early spring, if you want to have a high top, great, get a waterproof boot. This guy, midsummer, this is what I will use all summer for backpacking. I love these drainage holes. If your feet get wet, you want it to drain. You don't want a waterproof shoe. Odds are you're barely going to be getting just this part wet so that waterproofing doesn't even matter. If you have extreme crossing, you just can truck right through it. It drains extremely quick. And then you pair that with some good smart wool or merino wool socks and your feet are dry within, you know, after you slosh around for the 20, 30 minutes, they're going to be perfectly dry and, uh, and warm, which is important. So that's another thing, the drainage on this guy. It's just a, it's just a very well-built, durable, functional trail shoe. So I hope this helps you guys. If you guys were wondering why these kind of, uh, these ultra lone peaks here or any ultra trail shoe in general is so popular on the trails, why you see them so often, that is going to be why. If you guys like this kind of content, this is what we do here at RMK. We do gear reviews, backpacking, hiking. We got a lot of gear coming our way for car camping this summer. We're going to be, we're going to be getting out and having fun. If you guys want to be a part of that, go ahead and hit subscribe for me. That would be great. And to everyone that has supported so far, um, any, anyone new to the channel, I really appreciate your support and, uh, it's, it's awesome to see it growing. So I will see you guys on the next one and that's it.